Welcome boys and girls to Kids Corner. And today I have a very special story. It's the birth of Jesus. No, it's not Christmas, but it's a hot day today. And maybe it will cool you off just thinking about Christmas, the first Christmas that Jesus was born. We can read it any day, any season. So let's pray and then start our story. Dear Jesus, I thank you for this day, this beautiful day that you have made. Lord, I thank you for each boy and girl. I ask you to help them see the truth in this story and help them to want to serve you, to put you first, to trust you, to love you all the days of their lives. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Praise God. Okay, so I have my Bible because that's where the story actually takes place in the Bible, uh, in the book of Luke, in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke. And I have my story book here, and I have some extra. If you let me know you really like the story and you'd like to read it, get a hold of me and I will send you one. We have Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus, and we have our craft for today. So let's get started reading the very first Christmas, the beginner Bible. An angel visited Mary. This actually takes place in the book of Luke, first chapter, verses 26 through 38. God sent the angel, Gabriel, to visit a young woman. Her name was Mary. She was scared. She had never seen an angel before. Gabriel said, Don't be afraid. You are a very special to God. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must name him Jesus. He will be called the Son of the Most High God. Mary asked, How can it be so? I'm not married. Gabriel answered, With God, all things are possible. Mary said, I love you, God. I will do what he has chosen me to do. Do you love God? Will you do what he has chosen you to do? We go on in the book of Luke to chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Baby Jesus is born. Mary loved Joseph. Mary and Joseph were going to be married soon. Joseph lived in Nazareth, but his family lived in Bethlehem. A new leader named Caesar ordered them all, all the people, to go back to their homeland. He wanted to count all the people in his kingdom. So Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem. Mary was going to have her baby soon. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a safe place to sleep, but all the rooms were full. Finally, a man was able to help them. He offered them his stable. They decided to make the best of it. Joseph made a warm place for Mary to rest while they were there, baby Jesus was born. Baby Jesus is born. Awesome. Mary wrapped Jesus in strips of cloth and gently laid him in a manger. Look at baby Jesus. Now the shepherds visit in the book of Luke chapter 2 verses 8 through 20. On that night, Jesus was born. Shepherds were watching their sheep. Suddenly, an angel stood before them. 
God's light shined all around. And the angel said, do not be afraid. I bring joyful news to all people. Today, in the town of Bethlehem, a Savior has been born. He is lying in a manger. Then the choir of angels appeared. They sang, glory to God in the highest, peace and goodwill to everyone on earth. The shepherds rushed to Bethlehem. There they found baby Jesus. They told Mary and Joseph what the angel had said. As they returned to their sheep, the shepherds told everyone what they had seen and heard all along the way. The shepherds shouted praises to God. bright star and the three visitors. We find this in the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. When Jesus was born, God put a special star in the sky. Some wise men who lived far away saw this star. They knew it was a sign from God that a new king had been born. The wise men followed the star on their way, they decided to stop in the city of Jerusalem to see King Herod. The wise men wanted to ask him about the baby king. Now Herod was a mean king. He tried to trick the wise men. You must find the baby king so I can worship him too, Herod said. But that was a lie. Uh-oh. He wanted to get rid of the new baby king. When the wise men left Herod's palace, they followed the star, and the star led them to Bethlehem, where they found young Jesus. They worshipped him and gave him gifts fit for a king, gold, and sweet-smelling spices. Frankincense and myrrh. After the wise men left Jesus, an angel appeared to them in a dream. He, wa he warned them, do not go back to King Herod. So the wise men went home on a different road. Boys and girls, isn't that special? Now, I have a special craft. Now, I colored this, the whole page. And then if you look at this craft, you'll see it is the manger. And if you open it up like this, you'll see baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph, and the animals inside. Isn't that cool? So all you do is you color it, and then you fold it on the creases that it says, and then you have your stable, and then you can open up your stable and see the baby Jesus born. I'd like to send it to you a book, or if you have the book, The Craft. God bless you, and thank you for listening at Kids Corner today.